did, where did the beef ever come from for you and Nicki Minaj? It seems like you just don't get along. She kind of idolized you when she first came out with you know a lot of the stuff she did, whether it was her mixtapes, whether it was the same posters. Queens. <laughs> Queens. Yeah. Hey y'all Fendi, this the jump off right here Nigga Nige, low mama, get a taste of the hot sauce Itty bitty, real pretty, but I'm not so I beat bitches with the heat like I'm Scott Stouch So, so what happened? What was the, the, the left turn where it was just like Can I ask you this? Let Absolutely Let me ask you a question mm -hmm. Okay, how come when I come up places They want to ask me these questions But they don't never ask her Oh, we definitely we did asked No, her. we did ask her no, we did. We definitely Absolutely asked her. No. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something and You know what she said? She said she didn't know she that, said, that was it. She, and, and Nikki, right. And like she, she said, she way, idolized you. She, she has a way of trying to avoid the situation, and y'all let her do it, but it's okay. I never understood the issue because you came, you always paid homage when it came to the older generation. Always. always. I never heard you not pay homage. I always did. Like, I bowed down to everybody. Mm -hmm. When I tell you, I gave everybody their props. Real is her. Nope, not Tim. Who's your best MCs? Nick Fox and Kim. Do I have to pull up the all hip hop? The all hip hop dot com uh, uh, questionnaire when they asked me my top five and four women were listed on my top five. There was one line that said Kim, Foxy and Remy. Nobody yeah. remembers that. Yeah. Right. This fact. I named Jay, Wayne, Jada Kiss, yep. mm -hmm. Lauren, and on one line, Kim, Foxy, Remy. Yeah. Go on, go on YouTube and see how many times I said bitches' names. When you come out, though, you think people are gonna be like, "Oh, this is not little Kim. She trying to do this. She trying to if do that." They, if they compare me to the queen of rap, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You know how can I dispute being compared to the best that did it? And, and in my opinion, Kim is still the best because no one has had a stronger movement than she's had so far. I know. This, this, I, Nikki's my homie, but this one my issue with Kim stem from. Like, it's, it, Kim's the OG. And it seemed when you was coming at Nikki, you was, you know, just being bitter and but disgruntled. You're wrong. Like, say she says nothing else from this day forward. See, in this industry, what I've learned <laughs> is you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. And that's what I've learned in this industry. You just don't pick fights. <laughs> and you don't pick fights with Kimmy Blanco. Because mm -mm. I'm not, I'm not taking my foot off her neck. Now, you started this? I hope she ready for this. Because I, I, don't, I don't play. I'm not playing this. I'm not, I'm not with that. They ain't going to come and try to be like, oh, you know, woo, 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 you know, maybe. Nah. Damn. I would do a song with her. You would. For the right price. Oh my God! She's a genius. She's a hustler. I'm a hustler. Seven million, because that's my that's my favorite number. Seven million. You seem like like the old. You remember Players but Club? But you're wrong. The, the let trick, me tell you tricky why. You, trick. Let me tell you why you're wrong, and let me tell you why you did wrong, because it's deeper than that. Me and Slim were friends for four years, mm -hmm. and we decided that we were going to go into business together, right? And I was over there, Cash Money. I was getting ready to be partners with them. While I was over there, we were working a lot. Like I was in Miami and he put me in the studio. I would be in New York and we'd be working. We, was, we were constantly talking. Baby said to me, hey, you know, I want you to be on my album or well, whatever. And, you know, he sent this song over. It was empty. Mm -hmm. And it just had a hook on it. And so I, I sent it back to him quick. They had the record for a while. And, I, you know, me and Slim were talking. We were talking, constantly talking. And so I said, I said to Slim, when I went back to Miami, I said, because I'm not stupid. I said, listen, we're about to be like the mafia family. It's like, I'm the Gambinos. You know, you have like the family inside mm -hmm. of the family. I would be the Gambinos. They would be whatever, whatever. But we're all going to be family. So go ahead, put whoever you want on the record. Because I already knew. Right. I already knew. But I said, this record got to be big because it would be good for music right now. Good for females, good for hip hop. When I saw Baby, he's like, oh baby girl, we gonna make it big. We gonna do a video, we gonna do this, we gonna do that, we gonna make it big. Everybody's gonna know they put the record out. I guess they didn't like the response and when they saw the response, they pulled it, they just pulled the record off, pulled mm -hmm. it back. Never put it on his album, nothing. Then, I'm, it's like I'm not even hearing from them. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow, wow. 
You know what I mean? And if you listen to that song, the way I did my vocals, hers were different from how I did my vocals at that time. Mm -hmm. Shortly after that, she started releasing all these records, doing her vocals the way I did my vocals. You have definitely taken you know, it's like a, a different type of approach. Like you came out, you were doing a different style of, you know, like the different voices and stuff. People didn't, yeah, it was new. It was all new stuff. And you and you branded it and branded it and you have your Barbies and your million followers on Twitter and yeah. And look at you. But from the moment that I met her, I was always cool with her. But after that, it almost seems like when they realize, okay, we need Kim. We want, we want to study her swag. That's what it kind of felt like because I was around for a long time, and they're like, okay, let's study her swag, and you know, we'll, we'll. and I think they wanted to get that record just to stamp that I was okay with what was going on. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? For me, it was a break back into rotation mm -hmm. into you know if that would have been a big video and a big event record it would have been good for both of us but i personally think they didn't want me to stand beside her i don't know if you heard this but kanye came to my show did you hear this yes and kanye said i asked him who was like the scariest rapper with him in terms of like threatening mm -hmm. and he said that you were and that you uh, potentially could be the second best rapper ever <laughs> Behind them and them. Thanks, Kanye. That was sweet. But do you feel like that? You could be. I don't know. I don't pay too much attention to that. Like, it's weird because I never want to be compared to to people who I've looked at as my icons. Like, you know what I mean? It's like I would never compare myself to people like Jay and M and Kanye and Wayne. It's like they're in their own lane they're le they're like in a league of their own and even the female rappers as well you know it's like it's weird so i think that i could be the i mean i strive to be the best you yeah. know but um i don't compare myself to people like that there, the the thing about female rappers is that not too long ago they were like none yeah they're still Kinda. You and like maybe one or two other kind of, it's still really bad. You had to, you kind of had a lane open for you and you really came and destroyed the lane. Well, you have to, you can't do anything, you know, kind of, sort of. You got to do it, you know, you got to go hard or go home. And I went hard. It's not like a Young Money Cash Money thing, like they did that, not no, necessarily No, but Nikki. you got to understand something. She was always throwing shots. I don't know what you're talking about. You've been having this thing with, with Kim. And I don't know, I was just thinking about you and where you were from and that you're a rapper. And I'm thinking, sure, I know things have gotten crazy. And people are assuming, even though you say it's not specifically about her, that Roman revenge is Roman's revenge. The fuck I look like getting back to a has been. Yeah, I said it has been. Hang it up, flat screen. <laughs> Plasma, hey niggy, hey niggy, asthma. I got the pumps, it ain't got medicine. I got bars, sentencing. I'm a bad bitch, I'm a cunt, and I'll kick that hoe, punt. Force trauma, blunt. You play the back, bitch, I'm in the front. You need a job, this ain't cutting it. Nicki Minaj is who you ain't fucking with. Um, you know, she just really jumped out the window. And you gotta be careful when you pick fights. Shut the fuck up. Fuck one war, FedEx me straight to your front door It'll be a murder scene, I'm turning Pink Friday to Friday the 13th I right, you little Kim clone clown, all this buffoonery, the shit stops now Time for you to lay down, I'm sick of the fraud, I put hands on this bitch like a spa massage I used to, to hear her pay homage like she said, Sweetie, she used to say I love Kim, I love Foxy You're not Foxy. trying to do your homework, that's why, boo boo, you gotta do your homework If you go on all of those Sit those little the come up DVD even with Fendi. Fendi would even say it, yeah, 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 you know, because you know, she was just a real cocky type of girl, or whatever. She just she always wanted to be like you, she always wanted to be, and she would say, I'm gonna take her spot. I let me tell you something how I know Full Force had her, Full Force's son had her first. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, they had her first. When I did the song on my album, you can't.
with Queen B. You know that song? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, but mm -hmm. anyway, when I did that song on my album, that's full force singing that song. Mm -hmm. That They did that song. She was in the studio then. And they said she was basically hating on me then, but loving me at the same time. And that's what I've learned in this business. You just never know. Um, I think people get me mistaken with like a real Barbie. They forget <laughs> where I'm from. And if I have to revert back, I can and I will. <laughs> so don't get it, don't 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 play with me. You know, it's one of those moments when you say, don't play with me. You know, because I respect you, I love you, I've said it in every interview, time and time again. And if that's not good enough with you, mama, then it's something deep-rooted in you. You need to get your... Something is bothering you inside. That's your insecurity bothering you. It's not Nicki Minaj. It would have been any girl that started popping. You know, she... She picked a fight with Foxy, then she picked a fight with Eve, then she picked a fight with Remy. Now it's, you know, then it was Miss Wallace, then it was Nicki Minaj. Every time you in the news, it's cause you getting at somebody. Where's your music? Every single record she's made was coming at me. I don't care what you say, I don't care what you say, I don't care what you say, I don't care what nobody say. Everybody who's smart with a brain, everybody who knows music knows damn well in that Puffy record she was coming at me. I'd say nothing about this chick. I just came up in it a little bit self-centered But did I kill a queen? Now Alexander McQueen's got the wrist on glow The bottles is on pole Got that shimmy shimmy yeah, shimmy yeah, shimmy What the fuck I look like, bitch, I run this town I ain't coming out for less than a hundred thousand I didn't say nothing about this chick at this time. With all, she was coming at me in, that puffy, in the Puffy record. She was coming at me in all, in all these records that she was doing. The, the Jay and Kanye rest. I, I didn't say nothing. So what is all... I don't understand where all this is how, coming How come from? when male rappers like get on records and you know they talk cocky and aggressive, nobody ever says, oh, it's, it's targeted towards anybody. But when a female does it, it's either, oh, they got to be going at Cam. Or if you do it, oh, she got to be going at Nicki. Why y'all just can't be rapping? But... Why does it have to be aimed towards somebody? Maybe like it's just rap. Males, though. What are you talking about? It, it does happen, it happens happen with like males, that. Yes, it does. It happens Wayne with males. You want to know the Jay, difference Jay with so males? Well. They're not right. like her. She wanted to be the only female out there. So when Baby and them said, we're not fucking with this chick because you can't stand next to her, she loved it. You know, put your music out, and when I see your name on Billboard, that's when I'll respond to you. Other than that, goodbye. <laughs> it's Barbie, bitch. At the end of the day, she should have just said, I don't care, you my bitch. Yo, I want to still do other things with you. Let's just do it, forget about what this... Because at I the think end for of the women day, it's harder because they do make it seem like there's only one woman that could be the female rapper at the time. It's that's always, whack, though. It's, it's always me again. But, it but that's the way that it No, it's not. You had Latifah, you had MC Light at one point. You had Foxy, the Brad. Because you know why? We all understood the essence of music and how it's supposed to go. They knew what she was. I'm not saying that she's not... I'm not saying she's a horrible artist, but I definitely think she's overrated because she's not a horrible artist to me. I don't think she's a horrible artist at all. I, I know other artists that are... She's all right. But the thing is, is that they... This is what I feel. I was so looking forward to that video happening because I thought that would have been so great. You know what I mean? It would have been great. Like, I, I love when women want to be like me. I think that is the biggest flattery. I mean, you the OG. Doesn't? Of course you're going to have influence. Well, at the end of the day, I am just who I am. You know what I mean? So I think whether I was in the industry rapping or not, Maybe somebody could be attracted to my style. Maybe somebody could just be attracted to the way I move. Maybe somebody could be attracted to the way I talk. At the end of the day, it's an attraction. You know what I mean? And don't downplay it. If you go back and you, she's asked all these times, you need to do your homework because I don't know what I've you're saying. Envy, have you heard Nikki pay homage to Kim? Yeah, Kelly? she definitely pay homage before oh, you yeah. But no, if she, if, but no, if she was taking shots, that might be something personal that I no, don't know about. Envy, but I, I heard her pay homage envy, before because she said you, she looked no, up to Even when she did that, mm, that, that no. mixtape cover, uh -uh. When she did the same position as you. Mm -mm. No. But this sounds like something I don't understand something. If somebody says, I love you, but I hate you, that's not homage. But we don't hear At that. This Speaking of respect, I saw you say that you would do a versus with one or two people. Mm -hmm. We all got to guessing. <laughs> I already know who one of those people would and should be. My guess would be Kim. 
The other one, I, I had no idea. I was stumped a little bit. I thought that maybe you put that there just to stump niggas, because who else, <laughs> who else would this be outside of Kim, Missy? I don't think, with, respectfully, I don't think Foxy, I don't think that's there. It's just Kim and Missy, and maybe Lauren, but I don't even see that. I don't see it stylistically. I, I haven't said anyone's name. and, I, and Only and, me. And yeah, I'm no, no. Not, I'm saying the name. I'm not saying anybody's name. But that's something that you would seriously be open to. I, I feel like you just want to get up there and slaughter somebody with a bunch of hits <laughs> no. and features. Uh-uh. No, because I approach those things as a rap fan, not as Nicki Minaj. Okay. Just as a rap fan. And I... I think that there are a lot of, I'm not a lot not of, but I'm just step. saying Nick. like, <laughs> no, it's just about <laughs> if somebody can play their joints and have people reminisce and go crazy and that, you know, so yes, there are. Oh, people. you and Kim got to do it, man. Because now that I'm listening to what you're saying, the reminisce, go crazy. <laughs> you know, that's got to happen. It's got to happen. Um, 